Hi students, Professor Gray here. We needed to talk about scientific notation. Now, there are probably some of you who are currently taking Calculus 1000 and are super familiar with scientific notation, but some of us haven't seen math for a while and need this lesson, and that's okay. So if you don't need it, just skip on over it, that's fine. But for the rest of us, we're gonna practice this stuff again. So, scientific notation. Uh, what we need to know about it is that we've got different parts. And this first part right here is called the coefficient. And the 10 is our base, because we're doing base 10. And the little number up there is our exponent. So let's take a look at the number 777. So how would we write this in scientific notation? Well, the rules say that first we're going to locate the decimal point. Now, with 777, we don't see a decimal point, but it is there. It is to the right of that 7 right there. And we just assume it's there, so we don't need to point it out. So that's why we don't see it when we just write a regular old number. And then number two says move the decimal so that there's only one number to the left of it. So we're going to go ahead and move the decimal over two spots so that what we have is 7.77. But 7.77 isn't the same thing as 777, so we have to make it the same thing. So number three says write times 10 behind there. And number four says count the number of places you moved your decimal point and make this the exponent on your 10. So we moved the decimal to the left two times, so we're going to put a 2 up here. And number 5 says that you have to assign a sign to that 2, that exponent, positive or negative. Now, if your original number, which is 777, that's the number in standard form, is larger than your coefficient, which is 700, sorry, 7.77, then our exponent is positive. So this is a positive two up here. Now, most of the time when we have a positive number, we don't write the positive symbol there. We just assume it's positive if we don't see a sign. So you can write positive two, or you can just put a regular old two. Now, if your original number is smaller than your coefficient, then your exponent's gonna be negative. So an example of that would be if we had 0 0.0234, and we were to change that into scientific notation, we'd move the decimal over two spots. So we had 2.34 times 10, and we moved it over two spots. But our original number, 0 0.0234, our, that's our number in standard form, is a lot smaller than our coefficient, 2.34. So that means that we've got a negative 2 for our exponent. So those are the rules for scientific notation. Now let's do a few problems. So we've got 252. And the first rule says that we have to locate the decimal point. So where's the decimal point there? It's to the right of the two right there. And we need to have one number to the left of the decimal. So we go one, two. So we have 2.52 times 10 to the second power. And we have to ask ourselves, is that exponent positive or negative? Well, the original number, 252, is a lot bigger than 2.52. 2.52 is our coefficient. So the 2 on the 10 up there is a positive 2. So we can just leave it like that. Number 2, we've got 342888. So we go ahead and say, OK, the decimal's here. And we're going to move it over five spots. So we've got 3.42888 
times 10 to the what? Times 10 to the fifth. Now, is that five positive or negative? Well, the original number is a lot larger than the coefficient, so that's a positive five. So we can just leave it as five. Now, number three, we're gonna take that decimal point and we're going to move it over three spots. So we have 4.7 times 10 to the third power, and we have to figure out if that three is a positive or negative three. Well, the original number, 0 0.0047, is a lot smaller than the coefficient, 4.7. So if the original number is smaller than your coefficient, that's going to give us a negative exponent. So we have 4.7 times 10 to the negative 3. All right, number 4. So we're going to move that decimal over 1 two, three, four, five, six spots so that we have eight. And I know you're going to want to put 8.0, but you don't add another zero to this number. And that has to do with significant digits, which is something we'll see next. So yes, I know all of us, we want to have a number on the left side of the decimal and a number on the right side of the decimal but we don't need to have that and we don't always want to put that because it could be indicating more precision than we had in our measuring device. So we'll have eight times 10 to the, and how many spots did we move over? One, two, three, four, five, six. Am I counting that right? 10 to the six. And is that gonna be positive or negative? It's going to be negative because our original number is smaller than our coefficient. I keep thinking I'm counting wrong there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, I got it right. Okay. Eight times 10 to the negative six. Now, number five is already in scientific notation, so we want to write it in standard form. So this positive two right here is telling us that the number in standard form, the regular old version of the number, is bigger than 3.33. So that means we're going to be moving our decimal to the right two spots. So we've got 333 for our standard form. Alrighty, next slide. So if we have 4 times 10 to the negative 4, uh, we got to write that in standard form. So we have to identify where the decimal is. And the decimal is sitting right there. And I need to move it to the left. So I need some room. So I'm going to move this over here a little bit. I want to move it to the left because that negative 4 right there is telling me that the number in standard form is smaller than my coefficient. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4. So I move my decimal over there. And most of the time, I am going to want to put a 0 before that decimal spot just to make it a little more clear where the decimal is. And that is my number in standard form. Now, number seven, I've got 35,000. And the decimal point is right here. So to write this in scientific notation, I'll go one, two, three, four. And I will have 3.5. Zero, zero, zero times 10 to the positive or negative 4, you guys? Well, the original number is bigger than the coefficient, so it's going to be a positive 4. Now, if you have encountered something called significant digits or significant figures before, the number would be written like this. But everybody else in the class has not done the concept of significant digits yet. So 
I want to wait until we get to significant digits to talk about when you put the zeros there and when you don't put the zeros there. So officially with this problem, you would not put the zeros there because when you go back to write it in standard form, what you would do is go one, two, three, four, and the zeros will reappear. And, uh, but yeah, let's wait till we get to the significant digit lecture before we talk about those zeros. Okay, so eight is eight. So we've got our decimal point right there. And remember, we do not need to have a number to the right of the decimal. We only need to have a number to the left of the decimal. But to write it in scientific notation, you need to have a number to the left of the decimal, which we do. And we need to write times 10 to the some kind of exponent. Now, if I wrote times 10 to the first, that would be saying 8 times 10. And 8 times 10 is not 8. It's 80. So how do I say 8 times 10 to the something and have it still equal 8? Well, that's times 10 to the zero power because anything to the zero power is what? Is one. So 10 to the zero power is one. So eight times one is just what? Is eight. So how you would write eight in scientific notation is eight times 10 to the zero power. Kind of weird, huh? Okay. So number nine, number nine, the decimal point is right there. So we move it over right there and we would have 8.0 times 10 to the what power? We just did this one times 10 to the first because 10 to the first is just 10. So if you have eight times 10, that equals 80. Now, again, if you guys have seen a significant digits before, and you know how to use those rules about whether a zero should appear or not, you would write it like this, but again, we're not there yet, okay? So for the rest of us, we'd probably write it like that. Once we've done the significant digit lesson, we will know how to write it like that. Okay, number 10 is 0.8. So we take that and we move it over to the right, and that will be eight times 10 to, the some kind of first power because we moved it over one spot, but is that positive or negative? Well, if you look at the previous example, eight times 10 to the first power is 80. So 0.8 cannot be the same as eight times 10 to the first power. So it must be a negative one. Also, our number written in standard form, our original number, is smaller than the coefficient. So that indicates a negative exponent. So we have 8 times 10 to the negative first power. And that, my friends, is a little review on scientific notation. And that will allow you guys to do your study assignment on this section. All right, I will see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.